on and everything and talking about it. Yeah, it's some good experience. First time I ever did this. So it, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, how was it doing it with Jay Leon? Yeah, we had a lot of fun, man. I, I like the other guy, Ray Flores. Right. He's very good. So, so we had a good time. It's a long day, but yeah, it, it's been fun. Last time we saw you in the ring was a hell of a fight. Yeah. Um, and after the fight with um, the Gale, you said you're going to go up to 175. Yeah. What can you say about that? Is there a fight lined up? Uh, we heard rumors of Stevenson, maybe, but we know he's busy now. Floyd Mayweather and uh, Leonard Ellaby told me I'm going to fight for the title of my next fight. So I can't say anything else, but I'm just being patient and waiting for them to you know, make it happen. No, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to start camp whenever. If they tell me uh, on Monday I'm a, I have a fight, it's like, boom, let's get, let's get on. I'll start camp on Monday. I'm ready. I do. Uh, 175 just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Uh, it looks like it might be one of the best divisions in boxing. What, what are your thoughts on that as you've kept up with the light heavyweight division? Yeah, it's definitely one of the best divisions. I think uh, light heavyweight and welterweight are the two best weight classes right now. Yeah, it's a killer division. And well, let's say they, because he's, he's fighting Fonfara, it, do you think you might want to uh, have a keep busy fight, even if the Stevenson fight gets lined up? Like I said, Floyd and Leonard said that I'm uh, having a title fight in my next fight. So I'm just being patient and, and you know, I'm ready to sign the contract, ready, ready to start camp. I remember I talked to you after the Andre Ward Kovalev fight, and you thought that probably Kovalev won a close decision, could have won either way. Do you see the second fight being the same type of fight, or what do you think is going to happen in June? It can, it can be the same fight. I definitely think it's going to be a close fight. But I think Andre Ward uh, can make adjustments. Like, Kovalev uh, didn't really seem to he, he come up with a lot of excuses. I, I didn't like that. But, but I, I, I had him winning the fight by one point. But uh, it's a good fight. Or to make better adjustments than Kovalev. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, I believe. When, when you watch those guys, Ward and Kovalev, who for you looks like a tougher opponent for you and your style? Both uh, are, are great fighters. Andre Ward is kind of like Floyd, you know, very smart. I mean, Kovalev is probably the more powerful guy, but uh, I think it, it depends. I mean, on the inside, it might be Ward might be a tougher fight than him, and you know, on the outside, maybe maybe Kovalev is a tougher fight. But uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what's, going, what's up. What about your power and size moving up to 75? How do you think that's going to carry up? I'm, I believe I'm going to be more powerful, be way stronger at 175. I don't have to cut all that weight. So, uh, yeah, I, I feel comfortable. How, will you be ringside at Stevenson Fonfara checking that out? Uh, maybe. I don't know yet. We'll see. Do you see that fight going like the first fight? That was an exciting fight. Stevenson pretty much, I won't say dominated, but won clearly, but he did get knocked down. Yeah, Fonfara is a game tough guy. Uh, not the most skillful guy, but, but uh, you know, he, he's good. He's very good. He's a top, top fighter, but... Uh, I think Stevenson should have should have fought somebody else. Like you? Yeah, he already beat he, he already beat uh, from far, so he didn't have to prove nothing. So. Oh, and I saw your I think it was your tweet. You got the win now over Butte. They finally officially. Yeah, they finally gave really? me my win. Finally, yeah. Fifty-one weeks later. But it had to feel good though. Not yeah. Us, even though you, most people, most everybody thought you. Yeah. Won to begin with. Yeah. This is one uh, draw. It needs to move away from my uh, record with the Gale. But, uh, Would you fight the Gale again at 75? Yeah, seven, definitely. Definitely. What's life like these days? I, I remember you talked about before when you first came here, you had to live in the hood here in Vegas. But now, you know, world champion was in maybe the fight of the year. Big things ahead. How's life right now? Life is good. I'm, I'm enjoying life. I'm training hard, being my family. I, I have a pretty quiet life. I don't really live like a superstar, but... Uh, yeah, I'm blessed. Did you get a chance to see Klitschko versus Joshua tonight? I saw, we were streaming it. I was at a baby shower, actually. So we were streaming it on the phone. So not not really. I'm, I'm going to go home and, and watch it now. It was a classic. You got to see it. Yeah, I heard. It might be a fight of the year. They took my fight. <laughs> fight of the year. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, buddy.